Hi, Andrew here. More 223 gel testing today. We're going to look at some Hornady 73 grain ELD um, sent by a member on RFCOM. He specifically asked me to test Superformance as well as the vanilla flavor, if you will. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get out to the range. We're going to shoot the Superformance through a 20 inch because according to the factory, the Superformance flavor of this ELD needs to be fired through a 20 inch barrel. And depending on how that works, we'll also maybe take a look at a 10 and a half inch barrel. Okay, so out of a 20 inch barrel, this does not have adequate penetration despite being a relatively heavy bullet. It's just moving along really fast. Penetration, 10.2 inches. Of course, it has essentially no neck. Pretty decent sized temporary stretch cavity at 7 inches by about 4 inches. What happens sometimes is that at higher velocities, the bullet expands and fragments a great deal, which slows it down more than if it were to expand less and fragment less. So what we might actually see here is when we fire the regular 73 grain, the, the not superformance version, out of a 10 and a half inch barrel, we might see substantially more penetration. Now this block's already got another shot in it, so I'm gonna shoot kinda sort of down the middle and we're not going to see a good look at the disruption here, but hopefully we will get a decent measurement off of the penetration. Okay, so a couple of things to note. First of all, while the velocity was moving along fairly well for a heavy match bullet, uh, with the 20 inch barrel and the superformance loading, I actually expected a little bit more velocity out of this. I also expected deeper penetration. It is a pretty heavy bullet, and I know that it's designed to upset quite a lot, but I did expect it to get a little deeper into the gel block. Now, of course, that's entirely, it's entirely possible that the reason that it didn't penetrate deeply enough is because it was just hauling along too fast. So let's try the regular variety of 73 grain ELD, non-superformance out of a 10 and a half inch ARFCOM upper and see what happens. Okay, so as I mentioned, there were already two shots in this block. This is from a different load. You can completely disregard that. This is from the first shot. This is from the second shot. They're both going in the same direction. You can see that the first bullet stopped at here at 10 and a half inches or so. I think it was 10.2. The second bullet stopped here. Looks like it went a couple inches deeper. Total penetration, 11.3 inches. So still too shallow for use as a defensive load. This is clearly just for match or maybe larger varmint hunting like coyotes, possibly even javelina or something like that, but not the best choice for human defense because even at a lower velocity, it does go deeper, but it still falls short of that 12 inch minimum. All right, I'd consider that pretty conclusive. Even out of the shorter barrel with the non-superformance flavor, it still penetrated inadequately. And uh, to unpack this a little bit for you guys, the reason we went to a shorter barrel expecting more penetration is because what happens sometimes if you get a bullet moving fast enough is that faster bullets tend to expand earlier and to a greater degree than slower moving bullets. And that expansion causes more drag and that slows the bullet down faster. So a faster moving bullet can actually penetrate less as counterintuitive as that may seem. In this case, 
both the 10 and a half inch and the 20 inch, both the non-superformance and the superformance flavors penetrated less than that FBI recommended 12 inch minimum, which as you know, is required to reach deeply enough to reliably get to vital organs, even if you have to pass through a limb at an angle or take an oblique shot through a torso or some, something along those lines. In any case, we did not see adequate penetration and therefore this is probably not the best choice for defense at any range or out of any barrel length. Doesn't mean it's crap ammo, it just means that it's not really that well suited for a defensive application. If you disagree with my conclusions or my methods, or if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below. I love to hear back from you guys. As always, like and share and subscribe. Engaging with the video helps out this channel, but it also helps YouTube understand the sort of videos that you want to see. And if you want to watch more gun videos, not even necessarily just from ARFCOM, engage with the video. YouTube will know that you like gun stuff and you'll see more gun videos from all sorts of channels. Have a great day.